What's up guys, Sharky Choshi here again bringing you a very interesting video. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you, let me go ahead and click on this first because that's going to get pretty annoying. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you a solo run adventure with a very interesting Pokemon. You guys probably already saw the title. I'm going to be bringing you a solo run with Cricketune. Yep, Cricketune. This is going to be hell. If you guys don't know, Cricketoon is probably one of the, actually, the worst fully evolved Pokemon in the game. It is so bad. <laughs> it is terrible. And if you guys saw my mouse there, uh, disregard that. Let me go ahead and move this. Where? Let me go ahead and move this where my mouse won't screw with it. There we go. But uh, anyway, guys. Cricketune is probably one of, it actually is the worst. What am I saying? It's the worst fully evolved Pokemon in the game. And I'm saying fully evolved, not in you know, it it, it doesn't evolve, not a baby Pokemon. Fully evolved Pokemon. It is freaking terrible and uh it disappoints me how bad it is. Oh my goodness, but I am rambling a little bit too much. So, um Let's go ahead and get started with this solo run. So, the reason why I'm doing this solo run is so I can have a little filter uh, this whole week um, before Aorus comes out. When I'm recording this video, it is the 16th. So, uh, Aorus comes out uh, at the end of the week, the 21st, which is a Friday. So, I can't wait for that. I will be doing a uh, run through and uploading to my channel. And don't worry, guys, the VGC content will be coming pretty soon. I know a lot of. I know some people might not like this little series that I'm going to be doing right now, or maybe the walkthrough with Aura. Some people might not like that. Some people just want to see competitive battling. Don't worry about that, guys. Competitive battling will be coming back once Aura um, comes to our shores, comes to our 3DS and stuff, and it's going to be fun. And uh, I just want to venture off and other things Pokemon related, as you guys can see here, like solo runs, Nuzlocke's, uh, you know, stuff like that. You know, fun stuff. Because sometimes you got to take a break. Sometimes in between competitive battling stuff. Because it will get really stale. But anyway, guys. If you guys want to know how to restart your uh, game. This is how you do it. First, you got to back out of this. And you got to go into your... Um, into this little play thingy. I don't know what it is. Uh, you want to click on X, B, and then up on your uh, control pad. Not the joystick, but the control pad. You're going to click on that. And it's going to take you to this, and you want to delete all data, yes. And once you delete it, it will not come back. So the little uh, thing that I had over there was just a, was just a test data. So uh, anyway, guys, with that being said... Oh, wait. It doesn't immediately put me in here. I have to click on the language. Let's go ahead and click on English, because uh, most of you are English speakers. So let's be quiet, because I know some of you guys haven't seen this in a while, and I forgot it kicks you over here. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> um, alrighty then. Let's do this. Oh boy. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Augustus Sycamore, the region's very own Pokemon professor. This world is this world of this world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corners of the world. Some run across plains, some fly through the sky, and some swim deep in oceans. Together, uh, we live together with these Pokemon, lending our strengths to one another and live and prosper. God, that last sentence where the talking about the skies and stuff, that thing goes way too fast. I had to read that. Uh, <laughs> I had to read that so fast. That thing goes so freaking fast. Oh my goodness. You, you can't give me my awesome narrator voice because of that. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Of course, guys, I am a girl. Come on. No, but right here I'm going to choose the boy character because I am a male. Um, I'm going to click on this color because uh, I have black or dark brown hair. Um, I generally like to play the female character because I like the design of the female character a lot more. And, uh, you know, I, I just really don't like the design of the male character most of the time. And uh, I'd rather be a girl than a male. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh 
I prefer I prefer the female character more than the male character most of the times. So, yes, that is my name. Felix is my actual name. Uh, you guys can call me that from now on if you guys want me. If you guys want to, or you guys can call me Yoshi or Shark or whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me, but that is my real name. So, yes. Yeah. Let's do this. Felix, your adventure begins. You are now entering beautiful Kalos region. Go and meet Pokemon and, uh, 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 God, I can't read that fast. God, that thing goes way too fast for me. <clears throat> I can't do my epic narrator voice. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water because this is my third recording. God, I hate recording. Like this, I hate, like, doing multiple recordings because, uh, it really starts destroying my voice. Because if you hear me in uh, actual life, like if you meet me in person, compared to my YouTube videos, in my YouTube videos I'm very loud, very talkative, and uh, <clears throat> I like to destroy my voice when I talk. Um, yeah, and uh, if you meet me in real life, I'm very like, like not quiet, but like I'm very medium voice. I'll talk to you very normal. I'll talk to you very differently, but I'll still be the same person. As always, uh, just why is my frames dropping? Come on, computer, what are you doing? Okay, you're gonna stop dropping frames, correct? Alrighty then. So, look what we have here product placement. <laughs> it's a Wii U gamepad. So, let's go ahead and go into the mirror and uh, undress so we can get on to our adventure in the Pokemon world. Oh yeah, I'm looking sharp. Um, I'm not going to be reading off everything in the storyline because I'm pretty sure you guys already know the storyline. And uh, if I read everything, it's going to take forever. So uh, this is not a playthrough or a walkthrough. This is a uh, solo adventure, a solo run. So, uh, God, why are my frames dropping? Please, please. Please frames, please. I don't know why my frames are dropping. Let's see if I cap my frames to uh, limit to 30. Let's see if that works. My quality is going to drop a little bit if I limit it to 30. I had it 60 frames, so I'm going to put it down to 30 frames. And actually, no. Let's go ahead and put it back to 60 frames. <laughs> I think that will work. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and skip all this. Yay, we're excited. Let's go to the next town. Oh, yes. Uh, I just want my cricket tune already. So let's go ahead and go on to the next town. Hopefully the, the little frame drops doesn't really affect you guys. It's affecting me a little bit, but uh, it shouldn't affect you guys so much after the, post, the little post-production I do. So let's go over here. <clears throat> we're just talking about you. Come and have a seat. Alrighty then, let me introduce you to everybody. This is Tr this is uh, Shauna, Tierno, and Trevor. Yada yada yada. Nice to meet you. We're gonna talk about crappy nicknames. Oh my goodness, these frames. Please frames, please. Uh, no, your names suck. So just call me. Oops. That. Just call me that. Right there. You want to call us Yoshi? Yeah, let's go for it. Awesome name, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Pokemon. So, a little side note. If you guys don't know, the one reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see if I can win this game with a Cricket Tune. And the main reason is because I want a Moltres. If you guys don't know, these three Pokemon can decide what legendary Pokemon you have. If you get a Chespin, you will receive an Articuno. If you get a Froakie, you will receive a Moltres. And if you get the good old Fennekin, you will receive the Zapdos. In the post game, of course. I, I want to do this again because I kind of screwed up my first Moltres. And uh, I thought I was not going to use it and I just caught it for the hell of it. Because I was dumb, uh, but I want a Motris just to have, you know, 
uh, a, a VGC ready Moltres just to have so I can use it in a rain team. So I am going to go ahead and get the Froki Nader. I do have a Zapdos and Articuno VGC ready. I just want the VGC Moltres. So, uh, excuse me, so I can have it. You have received a Froki! Oh yes, I'm not going to be using it whatsoever. You want to give it a nickname? No! Get out of here, I'm not good with nicknames. <laughs> That's why you never see my Pokemon nicknamed whatsoever, I'm terrible at nicknames. So, uh... <clears throat> Alrighty then. Uh, let's get the Pokedex and then get out of here. Alrighty then. Uh, yada yada yada, this guy is still talking. For some weird reason. And, uh, I got the letter that I have to give to mums, to my mom. Ah, now I know why I'm lagging. Get out of here. Something was downloading in the back. End task. There we go. Yay, my frames are up again. <laughs> there we go. I had, uh, Steam in the background. It was downloading a, a video games for me. In the Kalos regions, kids choose to carry a Pokédex to go on an adventure. Oh yeah, give that letter to your mom before you go. So, we're going to go ahead and immediately trade this Froakie. You need two or more Pokémon in your party to trade. What the hell is this crap? I didn't know that. Wow. Okay, so this is not a true run through, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do this junk. Ugh. Wait! Don't go! Uh, you're gonna be my opponent. Uh, okay. God darn it, that sucks. I thought I was gonna be able to jump in right away, but nope. I have to fight this chick and catch another Pokemon. God. <laughs> so, uh, she's gonna go ahead and throw out her, uh... Fennekin, I'm going to throw out my Froakie, and we're just going to wreck this thing, because we're just going to bubble it to death, and uh, win the game. This thing is faster than me! Get out of here! Get out of here with that junk! So, let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Immediately capture a Pokemon, so I can immediately get my Cricketot, or my Cricketu, or my... Cricketot? It's Cricketot. Uh, into the game, and I can evolve it into a Cricketune, and then explain why Cricketune is one of the worst Pokemon in the game. Fully evolved Pokemon uh, in the game. Uh, I have to say that because then someone will say Sunkern or something like that. Stupid, you know. Um, because, of course, Sunkern is probably one of the worst Pokemon in the game. But, um... <clears throat> yep, we're gonna go ahead and level up. Defeat her. And, uh... Move on our merry way. And uh, give this letter off and then uh, go places. Yeah. So let's go ahead and run back this way to Vanville Town. Go over here and uh, give the letter to the moms. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about Cricketune and why it's one of the worst Pokemon in the game. Uh, fully evolved Pokemon. I gotta keep on saying that. Fully evolved Pokemon trademark. Um, <clears throat> Cricketune, with it having some of the most mediocre stats in the game, uh, it being a bug type, which is pretty decent, it actually has a pretty decent hidden ability in Technician, and a pretty decent normal ability in Swarm, you might think Cricketune actually is pretty decent Pokemon. You look at it, it has a freaking mustache. Like, how can you go wrong with a mustache? Like, come on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then it has a great ability in Technician. You're like, huh, this Pokemon might be like Scizor. Nope, this Pokemon definitely ain't like Scizor. This Pokemon has 77 base HP, 85 base attack, which you guys might think, oh, that's pretty decent, you know? It also has 65 base speed. 65 base speed ain't that bad. You know who else has 65 base speed? The one, the one and only Technician Master, Scizor. Uh, before Mega Evolution, of course. It has 65 base speed, and, uh... Yeah! 
Now let's go ahead and talk about its defenses. And oh my goodness, its defenses are terrible. It has 51 in special defense and defense. What? Like, how can you screw this Pokemon up? How can you screw this Pokemon up? How can you screw this guy up so bad that you give him the most lowest speed in the world and the most weakest defenses in the world? It's either you have extremely high speed with a pretty decent attack or you have very mediocre speed and pretty decent bulk. Not only that, this Pokemon learns... Nothing. This Pokemon literally learns nothing other than Bug Bite that works with Technician. Oh, wait. Did I just actually click on the how to use the town map? <laughs> okay, good. Other than Technician, I mean, other than Bug Bite, no other move really works with Technician. Yes, you have Infestation, uh, Struggle Bug, but this Pokemon is not a special attacker. You also have Power Up Punch, which is pretty decent. And Rock Smash, which is alright. You also have Cut, uh, False Swipe, Echo Voice Round, which really doesn't work because this is not a special attacker. Uh, if you guys want to know, he has 55 special attack. Like, you're not going to be using him for a special attacker. He also has Fury Cutter and Leech Life. What? <laughs> he mo his most powerful move is Bug Buzz, which is a special attacking move. And he learns Paris Song at level 70. I mean, level 80. A bit, bleh, level 50. But by the time you get Paris Song off, this thing will get one shotted by a Fletchinder. Or a Fletchling. That's how bad this thing is. <laughs> I can talk for days of how terrible this Pokemon is. He also gets a pretty decent move in Aerial Ace, but uh, you have to teach him that. Um, you also have to teach him Power Roll Punch. Now, let's look at this. He doesn't have any move tutor moves, or he doesn't learn any moves by breeding. The only moves he learns by he doesn't even learn breeding moves in Gen uh, 5. Move tutor moves that he can learn in Gen 5. Bug Bite, Endeavor, Fury Cut, Knock Off, which that's actually not that bad. Uh, <clears throat> Mud Slap, <laughs> Snar, Snore. String shot and uproar. What? <laughs> That's all I have to say. This thing is freaking terrible. Oh my goodness. His most powerful is bug type move is X Scissor. But of course, you want to have the bug bite because bug bite is a superior move with technician. Of course, there's really no way to run this guy whatsoever. Like, this guy is. Terrible. He's garbage. Uh, speaking of Fletchinder, this guy almost gets beat out by Fletchinder in total stats. <laughs> this guy is freaking terrible. Oh my goodness. And some of you might be saying Parasect. Parasect is a pretty terrible Pokemon, you know? But what Parasect has, what this Pokemon doesn't, is that it has pretty decent bulk in its low speed, and it has a move that a lot of people. Dread, and that is Rage Powder. Like, there's no comparison. This is the worst Pokemon, fully evolved Pokemon in the game. It only evolves twice, I mean once, from uh, Cricketot to Cricketoon, and uh, it's pretty freaking terrible. So do I have any Pokeballs? Um, I know I get Pokeballs. Uh, they give them to me. I have one potion. Nope, no Pokeballs, so uh, Pokeballs. So I can buy Pokeballs in here. I just need one. One Pokeball. Let's go in here and... Uh, yeah, let's buy a Pokeball. So, one Pokeball. Let's make this Pokeball count because I don't want to come back and buy another one. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty freaking terrible. Uh, and if you guys want to argue with me on that, I can talk about this for days. Like, you cannot beat me in this argument. This guy is so garbage. As a fully evolved Pokemon, this is a Pokemon that I really get pissed off when people say, Oh, this Pokemon needs a Mega. This Pokemon needs a Mega. When it really doesn't need a Mega. What needs a Mega is this guy. This guy is so god-awful. 
Like, I'm surprised Nintendo hasn't made a Mega for this guy. This guy is, like, literally shunned to the waters. Like, he, he was literally thrown into a dumpster and left there to die. <laughs> that's pretty dark, but that's what I feel this Pokemon is. So, uh, you always get your first encounter right here, and it's always a random Pokemon. I'm gonna get a Pidgey, which is pretty good, because I need a Pidgey later on in the game to use Fly. Um, speaking of the solo run, I do have to use, uh, you know, I do have to use, uh, uh, HM moves, so, uh, I need HM slaves, and, uh, this Pidgey will work fine. So let's go ahead and pound it to death. Hopefully I don't kill it. Oh, that's good enough. That was a critical hit. Come on. Why you do this to me, Froki? So that means, if that was a critical hit, I can go for one more pound, and I should be fine. There we go. Yes. So that thing is about 2 HP or so. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I just ate like a big meal. So if you hear me like braving really hard. Have you guys ever had that feeling where you just like eat so freaking much and you just feel like you're going to explode and you just can't breathe? Well, I just got that right now. I ate so freaking much. <laughs> and then I'm drinking water alongside that so it's not helping whatsoever. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hate that feeling, but it feels so good. The food was so good. Uh, I need to stop doing that. Actually, that's the first time in a long time. I really don't eat that much, so... Uh... Yes, we caught it! Our first Pokemon was caught! Oh, yes! Alrighty, then. So we caught the Pidgey. Uh, we're going to need this Pidgey on in the future. It's going to be added to our Pokedex, and now we can go ahead and trade the Cricketune into our game. So, I kind of made myself made it a little easier for myself the Cricketune that I am oh why do I don't want to nickname you let's just name you dot uh, two dots <clears throat> there we go so now let's go ahead and trade we're gonna trade with myself save and uh, asking for trade accept the trade over here on my second DS um, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna trade Cricketune into the game. So this is a 5 IV, jolly, uh, hitting ability Cricketune that is shiny. So that's the main reason why I'm doing this, because, uh, because <laughs> it is shiny, and, uh, it is a pretty cool Pokemon, and it is competitive ready. So, uh, here it is. Show. There it is, guys. I gave it a Citrus Berry. It is level 3. The reason why I gave it the Citrus Berry... It's because I'm going to need a, a lot of help. This guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and trade the Froki away. Offer. Offer. A trade. We're going to trade these guys away. And, uh, it's going to be beautiful. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This is a very experimental series. Um, it is going to be pretty freaking long because the videos are going to be like 30 minutes long. So, I don't know how well it's going to be viewed or anything like that. But I just want to, you know, experiment other uh, parts in the Pokemon world. Not just uh, complete battling all the time. Because uh, that does get a little bit stale. Not for you guys because I know you guys love it. But mo mostly for me, you know. Um... Like I said, it it will not stop. I'm gonna play VGC. I'm gonna play the heck out of VGC once we get the new rules and Oros comes out. That's gonna be freaking fun. I can't wait for that. Uh, once I beat the game, I'm gonna immediately jump into uh, to team team building and uh, you know trying to get teams ready and playing on the ladder over there with new uh, Pokemon like Swampert. I already have teams ready for Swampert, uh, B Drill, you know stuff like this. I can't wait for it. So. Uh, no, I would not do other things to my other character. So, I got the Cricket Tune ready. Here it is. Uh, just to, so you guys can see. Oh, you guys can't see it. Welp. One second, let me go ahead and put my bottom screen. Uh, there we go. Now you can see it. 50%. Now, now, you, now you can see it. Yep. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to have to fix a way to do this uh, in the future. Probably my next video, I'm going to put the second screen, so don't worry about that, guys. Here it is. It is shiny, and it is uh, 5 IVs. 
it, it was bred by me, as you guys can see here. Uh, Road 7, likes to thrash about, jolly nature. Uh, from the daycare, everything is correct, as you guys can see here. He was hatched re recently, so that's one reason why I'm doing it. He is level 3. I gave him uh, two, um, two rare candies, because this guy is extremely weak. Look at his stats. Look at them. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so bad. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and uh, beat this little part over here. How you doing, Yoshi? Come here and learn to catch Pokemon with us. Oh, uh, oh god. Oh god, the tutorials. Uh, oh wait, let me, let me change. Oh, a Bono B! I freaking love, if you guys don't know, I love Bunnelbees. There we go. Um, <laughs> I freaking love Bunnelbees. They're so freaking awesome. They're freaking awesome. Just, that's all you need to know. They're awesome. Uh, <laughs> they're so derpy. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's so derpy. But uh, anyway, um, hurry up and beat this Bunnelbee to death already. Or catch it. Whenever you feel like it. I wish they had a, a little part where they, you can just skip this, like for expert trainers. Like, are you expert enough to? Are, do you know how to catch Pokemon already? The, yes or no? You know, like other games. Like, are you a beginner trainer or a uh, expert trainer? Wow, the Pokemon's inside the Pokeball! Oh my goodness! <clears throat> Alrighty then. We're gonna get more useless Pokeballs that we don't need. A question mark or exclamation mark. Start singing and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do our first battle with Cricketot right here. Let's do this. You're about to get wrecked, trainer. Get out of here. Youngster Austin, you're about to get wrecked. Your zigzag goon is going into the trash can with my cricket. Look at it! It's so beautiful! Oh my god, this thing is so majestic. <laughs> oh my... Uh, okay, I just realized I have this. <laughs> Someone saved me. He didn't even attack me. <laughs> Please. Oh my, thank you, thank you Zigzagoon, thank you, oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Get wrecked! Oh, rip, rip Cricketune, rip. Only 6 HP! I just lost, I, I lost. Welp, this video is done, guys. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welp, we lost. <laughs> we lost. It's over. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this thing is so bad. I I, I knew I should have gave it more rare. <laughs> you see now you understand why I gave it two rare candies and a citrus berry. Like Oh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Um I'll be back shortly I think uh, yeah I'll be back shortly so uh one second guys so guys I am back here again with that terrible mistake I have my Pokemon healed up and ready to go as you guys can see here here's my Cricketune oh you guys can't see it uh, let's go ahead and bam there we go now you can see it uh, that terrible mistake with Cricketune and uh, you know I had to use Pidgey to save <laughs> to save my butt yeah 
I forgot Citrus Berry only heals for a small amount. And I should have actually gave this guy an Orange Berry. Because it would have worked out a lot better. But... With that little mistake happening, I am going to stop the video here. And let's go ahead and save off. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this series. Uh, hopefully, I can actually do things. And, uh... Yeah... <laughs> but anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time guys, I'll see you guys later with more Pokemon X and Y solo run with Krikatoon. Bye guys.